Behold, my attempt to use the dark side of emulation to remaster fan favorite Onimusha 3 Demon Siege. In this video, I'll be going over how to get the PCSX2 emulator, my settings for 4K 60 FPS, how to use an HD texture pack, and my personal reshade settings. Plus, if you want 120 FPS, how to use lossless scaling to achieve that. Remember, I am not claiming this is the ultimate or best way to play. This is simply how I play. So take it all with a healthy grain of salt. If you'd like to support the channel, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Remember to share the good news of the game gospel and ye shall be blessed i say these things in the name of me and of the father coaching me the son and carmack the holy ghost amen and enjoy the video Alrighty then. The first thing we're going to do is head over to PCSX2.net. I like to grab the latest nightly build. You can grab the latest stable. It doesn't really matter for this game. Once that is done, you're going to extract it to the location of choice. And this is what you're going to see. You want to boot up the PCSX2-QT version that has the GUI. But before you do that, you are going to need a BIOS file, which is usually found in documents PCSX2 BIOS. That's the default setting. However, you don't see anything in mine because I have have mine set to a custom folder, which if you'd like to do, go to settings, BIOS, and then right here under PCSX2, we'll search for BIOS images in this directory. I have mine set to a custom folder because I have a bunch of different versions of PCSX2, and I don't want to have repeat BIOS files, so I just point them out at the same spot. So either, I can't tell you where to go get the BIOS file, but it's not hard, just Google it. Either put it in the default settings, which is documents, PCSX2, BIOS, or create a custom folder here under settings, BIOS, browse it, and place them there. Once that's done, boot up the PCSX2-QT. You'll see something like this. If this is your first time, you will not see any games. To set your games, go to settings, games list, and put the folder where you're, you want to place your games and hit rescan all games, and you will see the list of games. I'm going to boot up Unimusha 3 Demon Siege, and here's the game running at native resolution and native aspect ratio, which is going to look extremely pixelated on a modern screen, particularly if you have a 4k monitor like mine before we get into the graphics there's a few settings that i change i go to settings emulation i set the normal speed either to 110 or 120 percent this gives me a few extra frames and makes the game feel up snappier and it only changes the audio ever so slightly if at all if that bothers you just set it to 100 percent it also allows for smoother lossless scaling in the future if you want to do that for this game i don't set the the cycle rate to 300 percent i normally do that for most ps2 games it doesn't seem to do anything and I noticed some weird wonky timing stuff. So for EE Cycroid, I set it to normal speed and I set optimal frame pacing and sync to host refresh rate. And I don't check vertical sync because I have a G-Sync monitor. If you don't have a G-Sync monitor, you might want to check vertical sync. And that gets me running at around 70 frames a second. The game feels snappy and we're ready to move on and fix the graphics. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings, graphics, under rendering, I'm going to change internal resolution. I go all the way up to 8x to 5k now this is for two reasons one if i do what is called super sampling which is run the game at a higher resolution than my monitor which is a traditional 4k 3840 by 2160 that is an expensive version of anti-aliasing it makes the image a little bit smoother the second reason is if i check the 4k setting the actual resolution is 3872 by 2688 there are different base resolutions that is why the pcsx2 emulator labels this as approximately 2160 or 4k because it depends on the base resolution of the game so i like to overshoot just a little bit because my gpu can handle it and super sampling gives me a slightly sharper image so i pick 5k now the next thing you're going to notice is the game is a little bit wobbly still for some ps2 games you're going to have to click apply no interlacing patches once i click that then the game is appearing much much smoother the next thing that i'm going to want to do is get widescreen work the newest version of PCSX2 is going to, by default, apply widescreen patches. You used to have to manually get them. You don't have to anymore. They're essentially all built into PCSX2. So you just come over to aspect ratio and I set fit to window full screen. It's going to stretch it a little bit, but the widescreen patch is going to keep it from being stretched too much. If you don't like the stretching, then just play it at native. And that is it for my basic PCSX2 settings, my widescreen, and my resolution. Now we're going to move on to sauce. HD textures. Ok, 
Okay, to get HD textures, simply go to onihdrp.com. Have to shout out Martin S and Murad58 for their work both on Onimusha 2, Onimusha 3, and Onimusha Dawn of Dreams. Click on Oni 3, that will take you to the Oni 3 subpage, and simply click either the Dropbox or G Drive link to download the textures. I also want to mention there are extra textures should you want to use them. There's a ninja costumes, different Oni costumes, Soki costume, Tenkai costume, Jubei costume, so on and so forth. Now, the texture folder should come named the right serial number, but just so you know how to double check that and how to get it, we go to settings, game properties, and it's going to tell you the version of Demon Siege that you're playing. For this version, it's Slus 2694. Then click settings, graphics, texture replacement, and under search directory, you're going to see where PCSX2 is going to be looking for your textures. By default, it's set to user documents PCSX2 textures. You can change it to a custom folder if you'd like. Once it's downloaded, it, I extract it and put it in my documents PCSX2 textures folder. Here we see it. It says SLUS2694. Double click it and make sure that it says dumps and replacements. Sometimes texture packs will be packaged with a folder under the SLUS folder. That's the repeat. So you'll click it. It'll say SLUS2694 and you'll click it and it'll say SLUS2694 again. If that's the case, PCSX2 will not read it. So you'll have to extract everything out and make sure that there's not a repeat folder. It won't happen with this one, but it does happen with other packs and it can be a huge time waster trying to figure out why the pack is not loading. So learn from me and my dumb mistakes. Once that's done, go back to your texture replacement tab under graphics and simply click load textures and bada bing bada boom. You can click load and unload to see the difference. Also make sure asynchronous texture loading and precast textures are set. This will make things a little bit smoother. Once that's done, you can simply check and uncheck load textures to see the difference. And in many screens, it's it's going to be quite drastic. And that's it. Now you are playing with 4K upscaled HD textures. The game looks just a little bit better and we are going to move on to reshade. snag reshade go to reshade.me click download that's going to take you to this page at the time of recording download the newest version which is 6.3.3 double click the exe it's going to bring up this window asking where you'd like to install it to click browse navigate to where your pcsx2 emulator is and click pcsx2 qt then click next now depending on which renderer you're using we'll decide what you choose here to check that, go back to PCSX2, go to settings, graphics, and check the renderer. I'm almost always using Vulkan, so I'm gonna check Vulkan. And then when I hit next, it'll ask me which plugins I wanna do. I'll simply check all of them. I'm not gonna do it because it's already installed, but once you hit next, it'll take a few minutes, let it install. Once it's installed, boot your game back up and hit the home key. The home key is going to bring up your reshade menu. If it's your first time using reshade, there'll be a tutorial pop-up, just click skip tutorial and now we can start picking what we want there are so many things here and it's all very subjective so i'm just going to show you what i like for this particular game take it all with a grain of salt and experiment to see what you like i use levels which crushes the blacks and increases the contrast a little bit dpx increases the brightness i used amd fidelity contrast adaptive sharpening and last but not least for this particular game i like the crt filter crt fake lots and I have artificially increased the scan line weight down here in options ever so slightly. To keep everything organized, hit active to top and that's going to put all the active plugins up here to easily turn on and off. I like the whites to be just a little bit blown out, a little bit overblown. It reminds me of a CRT TV I had as a kid, but it has nostalgia for me. Again, for the third time, I know I'm beating a dead horse. This is very, very subjective. Just go through an experiment. It's really fun to experiment and figure out what you like. And the last thing we're going to do is if you have a high refresh monitor and a G-Sync monitor, let's get the game running at 120 FPS for that super smooth look.
All right, we're gonna go to Steam and we're gonna purchase Lossless Scaling, which I think it's only six bucks. We're gonna hit launch. We're going to set the frame generation to whatever the newest model is at the time of recording. It's 3.0. I'm only gonna put X2. Then I'm going to tab over to my Oni Musha. In order for this to work, at least for me, the game has to be set in windowed mode, not exclusive full screen or lossless scaling will not detect it. And I'm gonna go back to lossless scaling. I'm gonna hit scale, tap back to my game and I'm gonna wait. There's gonna be a little flash and now the game is running at 144 frames a second. You're not really gonna see it because you, uh, for some reason, you, even when I upload videos with 120 FPS to YouTube, it just compresses them to 60 frames a second. And I've seen other creators have 120 fps videos so if anyone knows how to get youtube to accept that um, let me know so you guys are not going to see a difference because it's going to be uploaded in 60 frames a second but you'll see some uh, numbers on the top left corner of the screen what the input fps is and then what the output fps is and the game looks extremely smooth that's it that's my attempt to remaster onimusha 3 demon siege let me know how much you hate it in the comment section below all engagements good engagement right remember to share the good news of the gaming gospel and ye shall be blessed i say these things in the name of me the father kojimi the son and carmack the holy ghost amen and enjoy the comparison shots